page 16. All right, so a few of you were away yesterday doing Hope Fest things, but what we did was just did a second lesson on sketching using tables of values. So you will get a chance, hopefully, to catch that up. Today we're going on with the next little part. Can we stop the humming, please? Which is sketching vertical and horizontal lines. Now, that's the focus, but there is some sketching table stuff in here as well, like this very first question. So this very first question says, draw up a table of values and sketch the following straight lines. So there's no boxes there for us. We have to draw one up ourselves. So we're going to use the same X values that have been in all of our other questions, which is from minus two, then minus one, zero, one, and two. And then we're going to work out the Y values. So using the calculator, can you write this down please and stop swinging that around? The formula is y equals 2x plus 3. So that means 2 times minus 2 is my first value plus 3. So that equals negative 1. Then you change it, you change the minus 2 to a minus 1. And your next value is a 1. Hopefully you're getting pretty good at that and you'll get quite fast. And the other ones will be 3, 5, and 7. Draw up another table for the next one. All right, I want you to have a go of filling in the y values. This minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2. There are x values. See if you can use your calculator to work out some y values, please. You've got work to do. For the best. Does anyone have the first value? Eight, correct. All right, keep going, fill in the rest. Wait, so we have to draw four lines on that. Yes, there will be. Everyone needs to be able to do this, so I need you all to try. Sub in minus five times minus one, minus two. What do we get? Three. Three. Okay. Then zero, you're going to get negative two, correct. and negative seven and negative 12 for the last couple. Okay, still two more tables to do. So X values, Y values, same X values every time, minus two, minus one, zero, one, two. No, it can change, they're just the usual ones. Okay, so for the next one, it is 2 times minus 2, and then we're adding 2. So your first value should be minus 2. Get the rest of them. Change your minus 2 to a minus 1. You don't have to retype the whole thing in your calculator. What did you get, Cash? Uh, no, done. I got minus, minus negative 2, 0, 2... Four, six. Awesome, perfect. That leaves one more table. We're doing minus 4x, so it's minus 4 times minus 2, which will make 8. Minus 4 times minus 1 makes 4. Minus 4 times 0 is 0. Minus 4 times 1 is minus 4. Minus 4 times 2 is minus 8. Okay, so that part is done. Now we need our rulers because we need to draw up a graph, a Cartesian plane to put them all on. 
Remember your graphs will all be done with rulers. Please do not ever draw a straight line freehand. It would be, wouldn't it? Yes. Does have to be perfectly centered. No, it doesn't have to be perfectly centered. So the x values, we're only ever using minus 1, minus 2, 0, 1, 2. So we don't need very many of those. But it's the y values that we will need a lot of. Okay, back up to our table. The very first one for y is equal to 2x plus 3, this top left hand side. The first point that I need to plot is minus 2 minus 1. So I start with the x value, I go across to minus 2 and then I go down to minus 1 and I put a dot. Move on to the next one, minus 1, 1, so we come across to the minus 1 and then we'll have to go up one, because it's positive one this time. The next one is zero, three, zero is in the center, and we go up to three, one, up to five, two, up to seven. Should make a perfect straight line. If anything doesn't line up, we probably made a mistake, and you know you should go back and check. Yes, because I'm going to do 4 on there, so yes. That's, this one is y equals 2x plus 3. Okay, one down. Let's go to the next one. So I'm going to go to B. This one has the equation y equals minus 5x minus 2. Our first point to plot is minus 2, 8. So on the x-axis, minus 2 all the way up to 8, starting very high. Then minus 1, 3, 0, minus 2, 1, minus 7, 2, negative 12. I don't know about your graph, but that's not going to fit on mine. Yeah. <clears throat> so if it doesn't fit on there, we can leave that point off. Then we rule it up. Nice. Remember that you extend your line a little bit past the end dots so that you've got room to put your arrows and write the equation. Okay, third one. Y is equal to 2x plus 2. The first point, I'm going to do this one in black. The first point is minus 2, minus 2. So x axis, minus 2, go down to minus 2, put a dot. Then minus 1, 0, means it's still sitting on the line. 0, 2, 1, 4, and 2, 6. That is very close to the red line that we drew. Those lines are both going in the exact same direction. In other words, they have the exact same gradient and they will be parallel, the red and the black one that I've drawn there. And we'll be learning more about that later, about how some lines have the same gradient, which means that they're parallel, like those ones. <coughs> and <coughs> last one. <coughs> Y is equal to minus 4x. Ooh, what colour will I choose this time? Yellow. Yellow can't see very well. How about orange? Pink? Pink's a bit closer. I'm going to do orange. Okay. So minus 2. I'm going to go up to 8. So it's actually starting on top of my green one. Then minus 1, 4, 0, 0, which is the origin. 1, negative 4, and 2, negative 8. 
So it looks like it's very close to the green one, but it's not parallel because they do actually cross over. And they cross over at that point negative 2, 8. I need to write some equations on there. So the yellow or the orange one is y equals minus 4x. And the, which other one, the black one <coughs> was y equals 2x plus 2. You don't ever want to do too many lines on a graph because it gets a bit crowded and confusing. So 4 is quite a lot to put on one Cartesian plane. So if you had missed the last couple of lessons, that's pretty much a recap of what we did anyway. So you'll be able to go back and finish off anything that you've missed. But now we want to go on with the today's specific part which is the vertical and horizontal lines. So it's exactly what it sounds like. If that is my Cartesian plane, very messy one, but if that's my Cartesian plane, a vertical line is a line that's vertical going through the Cartesian plane, and a horizontal line is a horizontal one. All the other ones that I was drawing up here is what we call sloping lines. Okay, they're sloping. These ones are either gonna be perfectly vertical or perfectly horizontal. Now, they have very nice, easy little equations. And these are a whole bunch of them right here. It will always be either x or y is equal to some number. If it is y is equal to the number, actually, I should draw up my Cartesian plane first. Let's draw that up so I've got somewhere to draw it. Cartesian plane. Don't forget to label your x and y axes. Uh, it helps you when you're drawing it, yes, but it also for people reading it, because you can actually draw graphs that have different things on the axes. Okay, so back to what I was saying, now that I have my Cartesian plane there, if I want to draw a line that says y equals 2, that means I go to the y-axis and I find the number 2 and it's going to be a line going through that 2 on the y-axis. In other words, that's a horizontal line. So y equals 2 is a horizontal line going through the y-axis at 2. So basically the x or the y is telling you which axis it's going to go through. So y equals a number means it's going to be going through the y axis, they will all be horizontal lines. The x equal ones will be going through the x axis, they will all be vertical ones. Okay, so I'm not going to write the full equation on here, I'm going to call that one A. I'm going to use the letters up here instead of writing the full thing out. So let's do B. B is y equals 4. So we go to the y-axis again, and this time we're going through the 4. It doesn't matter how long the line is, as long as it's a line, please don't draw a dot, it's not a dot at the 4, it's got to be a line going through, arrows on the end, and that one's B. So we get marked down if you don't have the arrows. Hmm, not. Okay, C is Y equals minus 3, which means we're now going down, we're still Y equals, but we're in the negative numbers, down here. So that's C. And the last one was y equals negative 5. So y axes down to the negative 5. Okay, so because those ones were all y equals, that's why they were all horizontal ones. But the next ones that we have to do, E we're now changing to x equals. So we've got to turn the ruler around because we're going through the x axis now at the first one will be 3. So it's x equals 3 through the x axis at 3 and that's line E. 
Then f is x equals 4. So through the x axes. Oh, can't get my ruler quite straight. There it is. At 4. Don't forget to label. That's f. G is x equals minus 2. So negative numbers going through the x axes at minus 2. And the last one is x equals minus 5. Okay, so they are very, very fast to draw. They should be. Just don't confuse which ones are horizontal and which ones are vertical. So you're, there's more questions here. There's one more on the next page, just to mix them up a bit. Is everyone finished drawing this one? No. Not quite. While you're waiting, you can start drawing up your Cartesian plane on the next one. Those of you that are ready. If it says y equals, it means it's going through the y. If it says x equals, it means it's going through the x. Okay, so there's just four more quick ones on this next Cartesian plane here. Just mixing them up a little bit. Yep. Oh, it's not, you'll have to use a different scale. Maybe go up by two. Yeah. Okay, so back to this one. The first one is y equals 1, which means we go to our y axis and we want to be going through the 1, so a horizontal line. That is going to be A. Then B changes to X equals, so I've got to turn my ruler around and go through the X axis at minus 2. C is Y equals 0, so that means going through the Y axis, turn it horizontal again. Y equals 0 is actually right on top of the x-axis, like that. No, you need to draw it, because if you just don't draw something, it looks like it's wrong, or you've forgotten it, or you missed it. It's good to have extra colours. And D is x equals 0. Oh, I put, I just put on it and I draw over yep, it. that's okay. And if you put the label on it so I can see the C on it, so I know there's something there. Yeah. And y, oh, sorry, x equals zero is on the y axis this time, going that way. I can't answer question B in the exercise. Okay, so your turn starts on exercise four. It's just one little little graph for each one. If the number like in B is too big, like you've got minus seven there and you don't have seven spaces, go up by two. So minus two, minus four, minus six, minus eight, then you can use a different scale.